it is 5.03 a.m. We are walking to the bus stop because we are going to Paris and we are getting a train at quarter past six from Amsterdam Central, so we're getting the bus to Amsterdam Central now. Not gonna lie, we're a bit apprehensive. We've never been to Paris before. A few people have kind of told us, you know, like be careful and like don't get pickpocketed and don't get robbed and stuff. But we've basically brought as little as possible. Um, we've one backpack between us and the backpack is like half full if even and then we just have these like little bum bag things we're a little bit nervous about getting pickpocketed so we have barely anything with us but like we're still a little bit nervous but i think we, we're probably also overthinking it. we got these lanyards for our phones so our phones are hanging over our necks praying we don't get asked for our passport on the train because we didn't bring them hopefully that's not like famous last word <laughs> waiting on the train now we're getting the thales train it's the, like it's one of the companies that goes like between european cities well i don't know i think it's just brussels amsterdam antwerp and paris and you obviously have the Eurostar. is that what it's called the yeah. other train that takes you to london oh, and yeah. paris as well and stuff we made it against all odds <laughs> It is 10 to 2 and we have finally arrived at our apartment uh, in Paris and settled down a bit. Um, I didn't, on, I honestly didn't get much footage of when we were traveling just because once we actually arrived in Paris, first of all, it was so busy. I cannot stress enough how busy it is or it was. It's a Saturday afternoon. It's the middle of the summer. But also I just didn't want to take out my, phone, my GoPro because I didn't want to get robbed because as we know, Paris is kind of notorious for pickpockets and stuff. But yeah, we're here now and I'm ready to go. We're going to go into Paris. We're going to go to the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Uh, typical tourists like but we're gonna go have a look at the Eiffel Tower stroll around get some food and head to Coldplay I'm really excited I've never been to Paris before I'll just show you what I'm wearing this is obviously a really weird angle because the GoPro is like the fishbowl lens but I just have my hair up in like a claw clip just to keep it off my face because it's so warm this dress is from H&M I got it in like May so I don't know would they still have it and my converse which are baked to bits I really should probably get a new pair but I don't have the funds for that so yeah I just did like I did my makeup but I'm realistically I'm gonna regret doing my makeup because I'm gonna sweat it off in about three seconds we're probably totally over the top with like you know like carrying our bags and having our phone on lanyards and stuff but I'm just so allergic to the thought of getting something stolen off me oh. my haul is now going to get ready and then we're gonna head into Paris so we'll show you when we're there and get your dinner anywhere near the Eiffel Tower because you will have to take out a mortgage to pay for it and it will be very average. We're right across from the Eiffel Tower but we're just sitting down because honestly it's so hot. I'm just not a fan. The city itself is gorgeous. The architecture, the there's lots of nice trees everywhere. You obviously have your amazing like palaces and your Eiffel Tower and all that. That's all like stunning but we feel so unsafe here before we came we looked it up a lot and everyone like we saw lots of like bad things basically about people getting robbed and getting pickpocketed and uh we're staying in an, in the apartment that belongs to our landlord in amsterdam and she told us as well like oh be careful it's not like serious like life or death crime but it's like petty crime like robbing phones robbing wallets you know stuff like that we've been stopped three times <laughs> already um it's so obvious though and happens. it's very it's so yeah it is very know, obvious some random woman coming up with a fucking clipboard with like an empty page on it yeah going do you speak english and all this um so like it is obvious when it happens and we're so safe like i've already told you like about the phone and the bum bag and everything we're so safe we're just so on edge 
<laughs> um, that I can't enjoy, I cannot enjoy it. I can't enjoy the city because I'm just so nervous that like something bad is gonna happen. We're gonna just sit here for a little while and then we're gonna make our way to St. Denis, which is where, it's probably not how you pronounce it, but. St. Denis. It's, it's probably like Saint Denis or something, <laughs> um, where the Stade de France is and we might stroll around there for a while, get an ice cream or something. This isn't how I, <laughs> This is not how I wanted the vlog to be at all, but I'm just being real. We heard stuff, we watched videos about it, but we didn't think it would actually happen. Yeah. I do like the Eiffel Tower. I have no words. I have no words to describe what we just experienced on the metro to the Stade de France. There was like a thousand people in the carriage. We were squished up against the door. You wouldn't see the likes of it ev anywhere. <laughs> if you have, if you had claustrophobia, you were I wouldn't say I have full on claustrophobia, but I do not like tight spaces. And I just found it so horrendous. Wristbands, me hold, show your wristband because I can't show mine. The wristbands light up. They do like lights on the wristbands and it lights up during the show. The last time I went to see Coldplay, um, I was standing, but I was younger then and I'm not young anymore, so I'm glad that I'm sitting now. Yeah, I'm really excited. How are you feeling? Ah, uh, excited. Okay. You look really funny. What? You look really funny. Look at the thing. <laughs> <laughs> what song are you looking forward to the most? Um, Paradise. What song are you looking forward to the least? Uh, the new one, Swimming and Notion about. <laughs> Name all four members of Paul Clay, please. <laughs> I know Chris Martin and that's about it. Is that even his name? It, it is his name. Fest sur scène ce soir, Chris, Guy, Johnny and Will. Here, what the f*** did they just say? We have no idea why these two people are standing. They're still standing on the stage. Is it just a presentation? It's a presentation about climate change.
Thursday and we left Paris on Sunday. As you can see, I just stopped after the concert. I did not record anything else. You kind of heard my opinion about it already, so I won't go and I won't, you know, repeat what I already said. I pretty much still stand by what we said when we were sitting down um, on the side of the road that time. However, the Coldplay concert, I cannot put into words how good it was. If you've been to a Coldplay concert, you know they are incredible. They like the atmosphere, the wristbands, they give out wristbands that like do a whole light show, uh, their energy, everything was amazing. Like we were at the very back of the stadium and like it was sublime. Like I cannot recommend a Coldplay concert enough and it did make the trip worthwhile. Like I would do it again. That was the highlight of the trip by a long way. Um, after, <laughs> after the concert, I obviously couldn't record because I was just exhausted, but after the concert, trying to get the metro back to where we were staying was a journey. Now I know it, that's to be fair, that wasn't really a Paris thing, that was just because it was after a huge concert, like there were thousands of people trying to get the metro. Oh, it was so claustrophobic. I'm someone who's very, like I, I wouldn't go as far as saying claustrophobic, but I am, I don't like when my personal space is invaded and like it was, but thankfully we didn't get pickpocketed or anything like that. Few people tried, but we had been well warned to just ignore everyone. We were lucky in that sense. On Sunday morning, uh, we had until four o'clock in Paris. No, our train was at four o'clock. We could have went into Paris if we wanted to, but to be honest, we were so drained from the day before, <laughs> like with all the traveling and with the stressing about getting, you know, robbed and stuff. We. Uh, just stayed kind of in and around our area and we got a croissant which was delicious and um, had lunch and just made our way straight back to the train station and um, we didn't go into Paris at all on Sunday really. I would go back because I feel like we didn't really see it like I we weren't there for long enough and I don't think we saw enough to really form an actual opinion about Paris. Michal said he wouldn't go back because he felt too unsafe but um I think I would go back if I had the money to just get taxis everywhere. I wasn't a fan of the metro. I, I really didn't feel safe in the underground stations and on the metro itself. That was our experience in Paris. Coldplay was incredible. I'm sure you've seen it from the videos anyway that I talk. I've been to see Coldplay once before. I think this one this one was as good if not better. The only thing was the last time we went to see it, it was in Crow Park so obviously there was an Irish crowd and the the show was kind of tailored to an Irish audience whereas this show was tailored to a French audience. Um, he like spoke quite a lot of French and he uh, sang, uh, Chris Martin sang Magic in French which was lovely like um, so that's the only thing I would say was better in Croke Park was that it was tailored to us uh, but obviously like I'm not complaining about that we were in France we knew that would happen. By the time this video goes up there should there may be like a few Europe shows left. I know they're playing four shows in Belgium, in Brussels. If you are in Europe and you can afford t a ticket and can travel to Brussels, go. Like you will not regret it. It was really cool as well. Like they're so into their sustainability that like they have like the mats that are put down on the pitch are like powered by you know like everyone's obviously jumping up and down in the standing area and that like is generating energy and they have like bikes that people cycle on to generate energy and they have these trampolines and everything um they're hugely into like sustainability and stuff even with the wristbands and stuff like they ask you to return them after so that they can be re so that they can be reused so they're obviously not perfect but making a lot more effort than any other music artist I've ever seen. I would recommend, I hope you enjoyed the video. The Amsterdam vlogs will be back now after this one because we are back in Amsterdam now. We're leaving in four weeks. Um, I'm going to be absolutely distraught when we have to leave and that is no word of a lie. I love it here so much. That will be a tough day but I'm sure we will be back very soon. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you did and stay tuned for next time.